Hey everybody, coming to you from Denver, Colorado, where I'm currently on tour. Had a little time today and I was playing with the new version of Audiobus, along with Effectrix by Sugarbytes, my own app, Geosynthesizer, and the pretty cool DM1 drum machine. Let me show you how I put some cool stuff together. Here we go. Here I am in Audiobus, and with this configuration I have two apps in the input slot. One of them is this DM1 drum machine, very nice. The other is my own Geosynthesizer. In the effects slot in the middle is Sugarbyte's amazing effect tricks uh, effect unit. And at the end, I'm just going through the system output. So let's dive in a little deeper. Let's open up effect tricks. Effect trick is really amazing. It actually is uh, kind of like a sequencer in itself. It needs a clock input to run through the timeline. And then you have all these different effects on the left here, different kinds of stuttering and phasing and looping and all these things. And you basically set at what point in the timeline you want which effect to come in. So it's very, very cool. To get it going, we actually need a MIDI clock signal. So let's go back to the DM1 drum machine. And here I am in this page where you can set up the MIDI stuff. So basically it's really cool. It says, um, your DM1 sends to, and I've got it sending to Effectrix. It sees it since it's in the chain, and I'm not sending notes. I'm just sending tempo. So that's awesome. So if I want to go back to just the step generator, I can do that and start the sequencer here. There we go. Now it's playing. Now, if I take Effectrix and turn it off, that's what it sounds like. But over here, I can turn it on. Very cool. If I want to go into Effectrix and mess around a little bit, I just have to press this little button here. It opens this up, and I can change my whole patch and start adding other effects even in real time. And you see it gets very, very wild. So this is pretty cool, but let's go into Geosynthesizer. And for just a moment, let's turn off the drum machine by pressing the pause button here. And play Geo. That's cool, but because I have Geo and also the DM1 going into Effectrix, I can get Geo to be processed through the very cool effects. So let's just turn this on and start to play again. So as you can see, there's so much flexibility with the new version of Audiobus. Just this simple configuration allowing Geosynth and the DM1 to exist at the same time and run through Effectrix is awesomely cool. But you could stack things up and then save them as patches. So I'd like to share with you that making music on your iPad has come a long, long way. It's inspiring. It's creative. You can do things on it that you can't do on anything else in general. It's really cool. So thanks for coming along for the ride, and I hope to see you on the road.